TLDR. My company just paid a six-figure settlement on what turned out to be a false sexual harassment claim. Manager quit and I took his spot, and now I'm ruining all these women's careers and lives as punishment. The politics in the office are completely a thousand percent cancerous, and everyone is miserable. Here's the full story. Be me. Extremely unattractive, but highly competent product manager. Stacy gets mad at Chad fucking the new girl and goes to HR with some BS sexual harassment claim. Chad gets fired and Stacy gets an attorney. Discovery finds out Stacy lied. Company pays out sediment to Chad and Stacy to sweep it under the rug. Weak fucking Christ cuck director, who allowed the department to turn into an episode of Beverly Hills 90210, resigns and is gone two days later. I get promoted. Second week at new management job, I put Korean at my desk and hang in Islamic quotes on my wall. Everyone thinks I'm a Muslim, and I'm now completely unfireable. HR begins to kiss my ass. Now, my reign of terror begins. Move all the chants into their own separate area. Warn each one individually that any fertilization would lead to immediate termination, no unemployment, and no reference. All of the Stacys are inceased. Or if the Chad stop talking to the women, and stop helping them in any way. Anger and despair is pervasive. Implement a new draconian IT policy. Get a new firewall, and install tracking software on everyone's computers. Month 3. All of the women have violated the IT policy at least two dozen times. Run up all the women, and put copies on the firewall logs and all of their personal files. Block Tinder, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all the variations of other thought sites that these whores spread their time on, like Pop Sugar and Cosmopolitan, Vogue, etc. Women in tears every day. The top Chads can't keep his dick in his pants, and is caught hitting on one of the Stacys. Make an example of the Chad, and fire him for cause. No unemployment, no reference. Endless fear everywhere. Counsel all of the men that the women are capable of doing their jobs without their help. Hint, hint, and mention the Chads' recent firing. All men stop talking to all women completely. Mention the email tracking software has now been installed. Men stop communicating with women or helping with their work over digital communications. Increase the women's workloads 30%. They are utterly miserable. Start keeping staff overtime without pay and on weekends to make up for all the time they've wasted jerking each other off when the air manager ran things. Women keep fucking up and start rebelling against me. Write them all up again over a period of for a few months, plus a few of the male cucks for not working. Show them the tracking software reports. Annual review. No raises, no promotions. All the women and a few cucks will receive terrible marks on their reports, destroying any chance of having a future at the company. Endless pervasive fear, anger and suffering is now the office political culture in my department. Upper management couldn't be more happy with all the nonsense has been stopped. Get a huge raise in praise from the bosses. War is endless, and will never stop. The end. A commando fuck something spooky. Be me. 21 years old. My one popular black friend invites me to some inner woods rave. He's the drug dealer of our dorm. Carrying Gramps 1911 because I thought that some guy high on PCP would try and kill me. Also Cabe, three spooky for me threads. Middle of the night, full moon. Everyone but me is at least doing weed. I brought Stola Sonia because must love this and never drank any of it. I look around for someone to talk to because everyone else is higher than a plane and listening to shitty rap. A minute later, see a girl that looks pretty sober sitting on a log near the edge of the camp. Brunette, kind of French looking. 7 out of 10 would still bang though. We just fuck clothing, like we travel back to the 60s. Whatever, go sit by her. She's incredibly socially awkward, like 10 times worse than me. She also had a really thick French accent. Talk about where she's from, she's from Quebec. Start talking to her in French. I'm pretty good at it by the way. She also my address is. I tell her the full address because my penis is starting to do the talking. When I tell her that, she does the thing where she cracks her neck by rolling it around. I don't really think anything of it because I have OCD and do that sometimes. She asks me if I want to come into the woods and kiss her. Being a kisser's virgin at this point, I'm okay with this. Leads me a mile in the woods. Get that coppery smell like in chem class, melting magnesium and acid water. Our only sound is a nearby waterfall. Weird and kind of annoying because of my tinnitus. Start kissing. Really awkward. I pull away. She asks me what's wrong. I tell her it's nothing. She tells me she can be anything you want. At this point, I think she's a tranny. Think in my mind for a millisecond about how much better it would be if I was fucking this 10 out of 10 Ukrainian I found in a picture of somewhere. Say, no thank you, and walk back to camp. I hear her, wait, 
and this cute little Russian accent. I turn around and it's exactly what I thought of. Pick very fucking related. Now at DEFCON 1. Reach down and touch my 1911. Dick is 2000 times erect though. My dick convinces me this might actually be worth dying for. My brain actually agrees. Have the best sex of my entire life. Nothing has been able to come close to that. Snuggle in the leaves for about half an hour and just talk about drugs and Russian music. She says she has to leave and just walks across the stream butt ass naked. I just murmur an okay. I look for my clothes, but as I put my clothes on, I notice that her clothes and my 1911 have just vanished. Fug. Walk back to camp and use my belt method to CC my boner. Stare into the fire the entire night, wondering what the fuck just happened. I wake up the next morning. Best friend asked me what happened after I went to the woods with the girl. Basically tell her everything directly before it shapeshifted? Doesn't believe me. That's good. Buy an airship 1911 until I can get a real one or try to be a fool my mom. The happening part two. A week later, still can get my mind off what happened. A few nights I had nightmares and became too spooky for me. At home. My mom goes to AC for a job letter reward. Listening to Vera Lynn. Hear knock on door. Figures the pizza guy. It's the girl. Hey, it's Kayusha. You remember me from last weekend? Decide it's not best attempt fate a second time. Slam the door dramatically, nope the fuck up to the attic. Burn some printed paper. Smother some 30 to 6 rounds in ash. Little Gramps M1. Stay in the attic the entire night, cradling my M1. What exactly did I see there? It doesn't really match anything I've ever heard about or seen before. Now I'm pissed at myself for noping the fuck out of here. Every girl I've ever met after that, I've ended up hating. I'm seriously debating going back into those woods and looking for it. And I want Gramps 1911 back. Also, I wasn't wearing a condom when I fucked it. Does that mean anything? Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Mr. Green and check out all of his social medias down below. My name Gora.